Unit H, Excel 2010. Using statistical functions. Begin reading from Excel includes many statistical functions. When you are done with the paragraph, continue with this tutorial. What we're going to do is click on cell B19, but before that, make sure you read from Excel includes many statistical functions all the way through that first paragraph, and then continue with this section. So again, we're going to click on cell B19. So locate B19, and then click the More Functions button. This is the double book in orange uh, icon over here. So click on the arrow, and then it wants us to select the Statistical section, and then click on Average, not the AV Dev. We want to click on Average. So we click on Average, and we get this Function Argument pop-up box. The function argument dialog box opens. You use the dialog box to specify arguments you want to include in the function. In this case, you need to specify the range in cells C6 to C13 for January sales. So what we're going to do, well, it's highlighting and selecting, say, select number one. It wants us to select range C6, as shown in figure H11, and then click OK. So let's do this now. I'm going to move this off to the side. So select C6. And then the best way to do this, or at least the way I like to do it, is I like to hold down, just click it once, and then hold down the Shift key. While I'm holding down the Shift key, select C13. You can also drag all the way down, and it'll do it. But for my purposes, I'm going to be using the Shift key. And then click OK. And now it's added the average in cell C6 to C13. Not the total, but the average. Next, click in cell B20. Click the auto sum list arrow. The auto sum is this little function right here. It can be found both on the formulas tab and it can be found on the home tab over here in the small, in a smaller version. But we're going to be back on the formulas tab. So we click on the Formulas tab, click on Auto Sum, and then it tells us to click on the Average right here. So it's got short functions right here or quick functions for us to add. So we click on Average, and it says, what do you want to do the average for? For this average, we want to select cells D6 to D13. So we want to do D6 to D13 and then click either the checkbox or click the enter key. I'm going to click enter. Next, click cell B21 if it's not already selected. And then click the auto sim list arrow function in the library group. Click the max Next, select cells C6 to D13. So we go C6. This is why I like the shift key to D13. It's much easier than dragging because you may end up dragging too far, or too little, not enough. But you can guarantee if you're holding it down which cells you want to select. And then click the checkbox or, in many cases, enter. Now it's added the maximum value of what these would all be together. Next, click cell B22. Click the auto, auto sum list arrow again, and then click the minimum option, which is MIN. Select range or select cell ranges C6 to D13 once again, and click the checkbox. C6 to D13, and either hit the checkbox or click enter. Now you have your minimum values. Click the save button or press control plus S on your keyboard. That ends this tutorial. Continue on to the next.